Hello guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate a windmill animated scene like this in After Effects. So this is the illustration we are going to use in this lesson. And let's check out how the layers are separated in Illustrator to prepare the file for animation in After Effects. So in Adobe Illustrator, I have kept the foreground elements, the midground elements and even the background elements in a separate illustration file layer. So when I import these files in After Effects, I will be getting individual composition for each of these layers. And similarly for each of these layers, the elements that I need to animate individually, I have separated it in a separate layer such as this coconut trees, even the windmill blade and the stand, for this plant leaves and the steam, even for this leaf. And there are lots of common elements in this whole scene such as the windmill. If I animate one then we can duplicate it for the rest of the windmills and simply add fill effect and change the color. Similarly for these plants and these leaves as well. So like this I have separated the layers in Adobe Illustrator to prepare the file for animation in After Effects. Now let's jump into After Effects and start with the animation process. So in After Effects, we are going to start with animating the first layer of foreground elements. So let's start with the windmill animation. Let's convert this layer into a shape layer. Now we are going to move the anchor point to the exact center of the circle. Now we are going to pre-comp this windmill. So we are going to animate the rotation property of this windmill. So let's put a keyframe and add two full rotations. We might change the timing later on. So we have added a loop expression and now let's check the timing. So I think we can slow it down a bit. So here the timing looks good. So here the timing looks good. Now next we are going to animate the lips of this coconut tree. So let's select these layers and pre-comp it first. Now we are going to select one lip and then we are going to add some pins to distort the layer. So first we are going to add pins, one over here, one here, one here, one here and one here. Then we are going to select this puppet and then go to twig bezel and we are going to convert this pin to into bone layers by clicking on add bones. So right now we have separate layers for each of the pins. Now we are going to rename the layers. Now we are going to parent these layers in a chain something like this. So we are going to add rotation keyframes on these pins. So first we have added one pin and then let's jump onto another 10 frames. We might change the timing later on. And then again next 10 frames and we are going to copy and paste the initial keyframe. Select the keyframes is is it and we are going to add the loop expression. So we can copy it from here and paste it here. Let's first check the timing. So it should be a bit slower. Yeah, this one looks good. So we're going to copy this rotation keyframes and paste it on these layers. So right now we're going to offset these keyframes. All right. Now, all we need is to duplicate this one layer and place it on these two layers. So first we are going to pre-comp this whole leaf with the bone layers. So now we are going to duplicate this layer and rotate it like this. Maybe scale it down to match it to the other layer. And then again duplicate it and we are going to rotate it like this. Alright, after that we can add some fill effect to change the color. And we are going to pick this color. So we are going to copy this effect and then paste it on this layer 
and for this one we are going to pick the color of this leaf so we are going to delete this leaf first and let's pick the color of this pick all right let's delete this illustration layer and we are here with this coconut tree leaf animation so now all the three leaves animating together we can offset the layers a bit like this next we are going to animate this big leaf so let's pre-comp it once so we are going to use the pin tool again to distract this leaf so let's one pin over here add one over here one over here and one over here and one at the tip let's convert the pins into bone layers and let's rename the layers let's parent the layers in a chain like this and right now we are going to add rotation keyframes so for that we can copy this rotation keyframes and paste it over here so let's check out how it's actually looking i think we can go with this one so we are going to copy this and paste it on these layers and now we are going to offset to add some follow through all right now we're going to duplicate this leaf once again and put it over here maybe we can rotate and reposition it a bit and even we can offset it a bit so next we're going to animate these plants so we're going to pre-comp these layers now we are going to add few pins on this team so we are going to pre-comp this once again and we are going to add some pins on this layer one over here one here and one over here just like it's actually going to bend just like a small plant so we are going to convert these pins into bone layers with the twig basil so we are going to rename it right now So let's parent these layers in a chain like this. Now we can copy the rotation keyframes, paste it over here. And let's offset the keyframes. I think we can delete this layer keyframes and even delete the expression. Yeah, this one is looking better. To add some detailing to these leaves, we can even add some movement on these individual leaves as well with the help of the pin tool. So the process is pretty similar. Once one leaf is animated, we can pre-comp it and duplicate it for the other leaves. We are even going to follow the same process for this grass waving animation.
So the foreground elements are animated. Now we are going to animate the second layer of foreground elements. So for the windmill we can simply duplicate it for the one I have already animated. For the windmill we can duplicate this one which we have already animated and place it over here and rescale and reposition. Okay now we can add some fill effect to match the color. Alright let's delete this illustration layer and we can offset it a bit like this. Also for this tree we can again animate this tree with a similar process we have used till now for the waving trees using the pen tool. Now let's duplicate these trees for these other trees. Now let's replace these plants and lips with the animation that we have already done. So now the foreground elements are animated. Now we are going to animate the midground elements. So here we have few windmills. So we are going to duplicate the windmill animation that we have already made and we are going to add a fill effect to change the color. And in the similar manner, we can use the already animated the windmill and the tree animation and duplicate the composition and use it in this background layer. Okay, now let's animate the bird. So let's pre-comp one bird. Now we are going to add some pins on this wing layer. So let's add one pin over here, one over here, one over here and one over here. And then we are going to convert these pins into bone layers. So let's parent it in this chain. Now we are going to add rotation keyframes on these layers. So let's jump onto next 8 frames and we are going to rotate it this way. Maybe around 20 degree and this one around minus 6 degree. Again okay, let's jump onto next 8 frame and copy and paste the initial keyframe and easy is the keyframes. So let's put the loop expression to loop it. I 
I think we need to speed it up a bit. So let's jump on to next six frame and we are going to move it over here. And we need to change the graph a bit. So at this point, it should have a very high speed. And at this point, it should have an ease like this. Okay, now we are going to copy and paste this keyframes on these two layers as well. But we are going to change the value a bit. At this point, we can rotate this layer even more, somewhat like this. And at this point, we can even rotate in the opposite direction a bit, like this. Okay, so we are going to do the same for the other side of the wing with the opposite values and it is going to look something like this. So this is how I have animated the scene in After Effects. So I hope you learned a few important tips and tricks to help you in your project. So that is it for this video. If you like the video then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques then make sure to comment down. I would be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.